Ample to spread wide for Langdon. And here is Hill, bounding off half forward, coming up to win it. Get involved in this chain. As the Dockers get it deep. And it gets all the way to the back. Tabana! That's one way to hit the scoreboard. Kick him from 10 metres out. Great start to the second. He mate was going to be in the air, so he decided to stay down and just get it out the back. So Brad Hill involved. I really love that Ross Lyons trying to help him out and get him into the game, started him in half forward. Just a good fly there. Well done by Brandon Cox, who was able to just fist the ball. Knew he couldn't mark it. That is invaluable. Have a look at that. And hand just in there. That's a goal assist. Yeah. So a couple of their lesser lights involved in that. Cox with the receiving the handball. Another entry for the Dockers. And Tabernard again will have him to thank. And he just with that. I think one of the key roles of a coach on match day, Lynch, is to help his players, if they're struggling, get him into the game to find him another function. And he edges out and trusts that right boot to put it right through the middle. Two in a row for Matty Tab. Quick ball movement, just leaving the Giants defenders isolated. My man Ziggy Swiskowski doing... Yep. He's getting up, Reid. Now, let's watch Hogan. Stutters his way to 50. And then launches. Oh! oh. From Tabana. Don't play on. No. <laughs> well, he's still... Now, in all seriousness, he's not feeling that great at the moment. And I've been through here. He's not going to waste any time. No. The proverbial point-blank range, as Lou Richards... Used to say, have to fall over to miss this. He didn't fall over, and he didn't miss it. In. Now, have a look at this shot here, and the, the leap from Tabernard. Good leap in a genuine pack. He's just outreached everyone, and that was a, just a one-grabber. Didn't exactly flush this either. <laughs>